This is phase one. We're in day two of our exercise prep, getting all of our gear that's been tasked to go to an Oconus location. So what we've tried to do for the exercise is create some realism and prepare our folks to deploy all of our gear, our radar primarily, and all of our operational equipment, take it downrange to a deployed location, uh, set it back up, and then start controlling aircraft, provide command and control for a, a deployed operation center. We've got a lot of different crew positions. There's about 27 different AFSCs in the squadron, but when it comes to getting it ready, it's really just, I need somebody, I need, I'm gonna train them up to do a certain job outside of their career field but it's a, a joint effort. So the folks that you see behind me here getting the, this equipment ready, there's probably a mix of five to six different AFSCs right now in there, and they're all just joined up to, to get all the equipment ready to go at the same time. The equipment, whether it's a vehicle or the environmental control units, the office supplies, everything that's out here is something that would actually get applied during a deployment downrange. As they come back, they'll go back into whatever shop it was they came from. Sometimes they'll move to another shop, build upon whatever skills they had previously learned, uh, different additional duties. But we still try and maintain that proficiency by doing these kind of exercises to demonstrate our ability to train new folks. There's always got to be a, an influx of new bodies trained up to do all those additional duties. Well, phase two is uh, we'll have three convoys and we'll convoy in the trucks out to Moab and then they'll have to set up all the equipment. So they'll set up the radar, they'll set up all the tents, generators, all the uh, comm nodes to uh, get ready to, for a deployed radar that's out in the middle of nowhere. But once everything's set up, then what we do is we make sure the feed over there is now fed back into here at the squadron. So if we needed to, we control missions out of the mission equipment here. Uh, we could uh, just make sure the, the link is good to go, just like we do downrange. So that's, how, that's what we're simulating there. There are also um, some attacks. There are some IDF attacks. We'll have to do some, uh, they'll do the sirens and, and the prep for that. self aid buddy care. And then other things we'll do is just some, uh, we'll do some injects for equipment. So equipment will fail and how do you fix a generator or the radar. But locals, they're maybe trying to get on the compound, that sort of thing. So it's the ECP points, make sure you're checking IDs, making sure if people don't belong there that they uh, get the security forces involved, that sort of thing. So it's trying to at least simulate what they're going to see uh, in Afghanistan and some of the realistic scenarios they're going to see. So it's not brand new when they go down there uh, early next year. For the new folks, it, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of long hours. You know, you're shifting your schedule at the ring of a phone call. You know, hey, you know, you need to come into work, get all this ready to go. Proven to America, proven to ourselves that at any time, we're ready to go. We're ready to do the mission. If the nation calls, if there's a need, we'll be there.